Yeah. 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 We've actually done fairly well. Our membership is about back to normal. Cool. Yeah. And now we have an online too, so. Of course, ours is about back to normal too. It's one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it well, keeps it, you going, then that's, that's right. Yeah. Several have moved and several have died. And mm -hmm. I'm the youngest one there, except my grandson. So, hey, we're lucky to have 20. Yeah. <laughs> Well, why don't we start by introducing yourselves to me. How's that? Um, I know some of you already, but why don't we just go through your name so I can look at your registration. Start on this side. Oh, I'm Roxanne okay. Use. Yeah, from Vancouver, the Oasis Church. Okay. Now you tell me who I am. <laughs> Tina Woodruff. I just had a meeting with him in June. Uh, yeah. <laughs> from Fall City, right. Oregon. I am Karen Fisher from White Salmon. Great, move here. Karen Coffernall from Newburgh. Welcome. Thank you. And Rosemary Gross from Eugene. Good. Vanel Miranda from Salem Central. Awesome. Yep. I have Denise here too somewhere, but I lost her. <laughs> See, my mom's friend. She might have been Salem East, though. Yeah, there, there's Salem South, I know. East and Central. So. Or in Fall City. I know we're going to have a couple more times. So. Yeah, Denise is here, but I thought she came down here ahead of me. And I lost her. <laughs> I know she knows come down the lower level, so she'll show up. <laughs> well, I'm. Um, excited that we get to meet together. Um, how many of you are staying on campus? Like on camping or camping? Camping? camping. <laughs> Motorhoming? <laughs> you like Motelling. Yeah. Motelling, it's good. <laughs> I've retired Army 24 years. I do not camp unless it's a five-star hotel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I left that life behind. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, most of us are commuting on that, right? Yeah. yeah. I have a tent site here, um, mainly as a base for hanging out in the interim <laughs> times. And uh, my daughter, she's 15, so she brings her friends over for drinks and things like that. So it's not really for uh, sleeping at the night. And I live in Portland. And we're also waiting on our our true clerk because just as fast as I got started in the Adventist, they pulled me away from it. Oh, really? <laughs> so we, we have a new and improved clerk coming, uh, Jacqueline Russell. Oh, nice. So she's supposed to be here to uh, help me out. We're all going to help each other, help each other out. I just want to say, first of all, that um, thanks a lot for your support of your churches. Um, you know, it's, it's not a glamour job, per se, to, to be in membership, but it's one of the most important for your churches. I think in the, the early Adventist structure, um, a church was defined by its clerk and an elder. So, it, that's how church plants started. So it's like one of the key um, offices in the church. And uh, you know, of course, we just want to keep track of people. And the whole point of church is to come together and get to know each other and to worship together and support each other. So having contacts and active uh, connections is a really important thing. So thank you for your service to the church and um, it's really a, a beautiful ministry. I really like being the conference chair clerk because of the things that happen when I get to talk to you or we share email and we get to meet face to face today, which is great. But I, I really do like the, the connections made. And uh, if, um, we, in our church, which is here in Portland, 
we've had uh, young adults, um, a lady and before her, another lady um, of earlier years than, than we are, but um, it's, it was a great way to use their technical skills, like with the admins and working on computer, to connect with the greater church. And it's kind of a, a two-way ministry that way, where, um, of course, she's helping us keep track of our own church membership, but she's also learning a lot of people within our church. So that's great. Too bad to get nothing. Access. I just need to get Oh, okay. Oh. This is for Jacqueline. <laughs> this is my Okay, no one told me we were live streaming. We're uh, live streaming? It, it says that if you look at the it says that it's video on demand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, all the clerks that needed help demanded to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just found for the I know, I'm just like, having fun. Did you say you used Fox? No, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was late. I had to put my medicine for my headache. That's <laughs> very important. It's a, it's a super. I tracked on my other gal. She's in the wrong room. Oh, okay. No sure. worries. She's in BC, but I don't know. Where's the other BC? Is it out that way? If it's Cascade, BC. Is it still in this building? Yeah. Which is down there? <laughs> so everyone, this is Jacqueline Russell. She's our honest clerk, for real rock star. Yeah, like I said, new and improved for the conference. And so does she that make you the not honest <laughs> Well, slightly, I'll take that role. Slightly <laughs> shady. <laughs> Why do you think they moved on from me? <laughs> okay. What, and your name? Uh, Denise. Denise, yes. How are we doing on our list? We're doing pretty good. We have um, three to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two to go. I, I already saw you, so I just you look too familiar. Oh, well, we're, we're already past 2.30. So this is Jacqueline Russell. If you've seen Jonathan Russell, Gladstone's Day. <laughs> <laughs> she she makes it, she supports the scenes from behind, from behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I'm Ted Alakel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. Okay. How do you say your last name? Alakel. Alakel. Yeah, so this will be fun. We're gonna we're not gonna try to make this. Um, this is not about a presentation. This is about helping you do the things you need to get done, and we'll just do <coughs> lots of questions and answers. And you know, someone will ask a question, and then um, that might spur another question from someone else, and you'll get to see, hopefully all the ways we can use eAdventist for our help. So why don't we have a prayer together first? How's that? Father in heaven, thank you for your church. What a privilege it is to gather, to assemble, to put our arms around each other in an institution that you started while you were here on earth. Jesus. Thank you for everyone here who, is, who works hard to keep their church um, current, keep their church connected, and um, we, we pray a special blessing on all churches represented here and those in our conference. Lord, we want, we want the clerk's job to be a busy one where we have lots of incoming members we, we ask lord that you will provide every opportunity uh, into our paths to bring um, your children into this church we thank you for all you've done and we are grateful and we are excited for what we will see um, 
in the future, your power, your presence with the Holy Spirit in our churches. We, we look forward to, um, to being saved, and our churches are just a stepstone to heaven. So thank you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so what I have here, well, let's just, clerk, what should we do? I was just going to start off and ask, what are your biggest questions? Where do you get hung up? What do you want to know? Um, yeah, biggest question. Here, you had some on here, too. Yes. So I'll start because yeah. one of my big questions or my problems that I'm having is that I inherited a new Adventist account that has over 1,300 <clears throat> people in it, and we have 200 members. So when I go to get a birthday list or when I go to do anything, I'm having to delete all these names that people that have been there 20 years don't know the names. And that's hard because I don't know who just got here, so I don't know who the people are. We're trying to figure that out. But you don't want to go and delete all these people because maybe they're just not active, but they still consider themselves part of the church. So mm -hmm. I've been really snowed under with that. So that's a really challenging situation. Is that your member list or the whole amount with the non-member and the member? It's you can divide them. Mm, it's probably the everybody list. Yeah, because there's, yeah. there's a way to that's a good start, but I think there's still a lot of them. Yeah. Either yeah. well, and then I put that in there. We have people that have passed away, and I even um, recorded that they passed away, and then their birthday popped up, and I have to really watch because you don't want to put birthdays in that no. passed away. So um, <clears throat> that was hard. They won't mind. Yeah. <laughs> they won't mind with their family. <laughs> 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 there's so many ways to make mistakes, and that's one that I I just was surprised because I. I went back to the account and it did say he was deceased, but he's still on the birthday list. So that was one. Sorry, those were two questions. Okay. So which shall we tackle first? Clean you, up. Yeah, let's talk cleanup. Okay. And talk mainly about um, let's start with members. Um, so you've had members in the past on your church membership role. And they're nowhere to be seen, right? What a challenging problem to have. Um, we encourage conservative, um, conservative deletions. <laughs> um, and here's what here's the deal: is that membership is more than just what's on the books of E Adventist, right? It's it's about personal connections. And this is a, an issue that you're going to want to work with your elders and your pastor and come up with a plan to try and connect with these people. And, you know, we've had, in, at least in my church experience, um, you can connect with someone you haven't seen in a long time merely by going on your contact information and giving them a call. And um, that can be a, a spurring moment to bring someone back to church. So just to eliminate them off the church role is, is a dangerous thing to do. But it involves so much work, right? I mean, if you have dozens of people, uh, it's, it become, you become a detective sometimes or, um, or an outreach minister. <laughs> to try and, and, and connect with people who have uh, long been in your church. So I have to say, at least from my experience, that um, there's some work to be done, and it's before E Adventist gets involved, at least in a in out kind of um, way of going. But it must mean people haven't updated it for so long. Right. Yes. So I'm going to, we have Pastor Joubert. He's, he's running away now. <laughs> <laughs> you can give us a perspective from the pastor's point of view. What, what do you think about how to manage membership 
uh, in a church that's of people long gone. What Darla is asking is the Adventist membership problem around the world. Yeah. Uh, we know that if you go to a church and a pastor and you have 400 members, 50% are take. Right. If you're, that's just an average, and we know that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So our membership numbers are informed. Mm -hmm. um, Dala also knows because she and her husband worked in a district close to ours, right next door. We were neighbors. And uh, she may remember what we did uh, over there. And I can only share from personal experience because we had a church clerk. Um, except when we church clerks do the best, this lady was the best that I had ever worked with. And uh, what she did was she did not, she went further than the job title and the description for what a church clerk should do. She extended herself beyond the names, beyond the lists, to what Ted has referred to as people, relationships. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't do it all, so what did she do? She came and pestered the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I cannot do this, but I ca also cannot sleep at night to know that all these names are on this list and what are we doing? Nothing. So I, uh, she delegated the burden to me. I couldn't sleep now. So I went to my elders. They are the pastor's helpers. And so the board of elders, I said, guys, Let's make this happen. I invited the church clerk to meet with the board of elders that meets weekly. Mm -hmm. We met uh, once a month with her on, invited to join us. So she came with a list of all those members that are not attending the church. She knew who, who was not attending, all the dead wood, as we often say. And she gave each elder a list of and addresses and telephone numbers of what she had, mm -hmm. all the information she had. And uh, the chairman of the Board of Elders then said, well, it seems like we've got work to do. And we did not look at it as petty. We looked at it as evangelism. Right. So if the church clerk can inspire the pastor and the elders to have, take on a new evangelism project that worked for us now how did that work bottom line we had about 400 plus members we now have 200 plus members we basically have the conference uh, advice for administration looked at me the first time we had a, a, a workers meeting and he said are you worried look he said what's going I said, praise the Lord, yeah. And he soon got the message. And after that, he understood. And so uh, things worked well, I believe. What were some of the results? I did not tell you the percentages, but we had some folk that said, I've been attending the local Presbyterian church for the last 20 years. Where have you been? I'm not interested. I, I, I'm going on with my life. We had some responses that say, wow, I'm so glad you looked at my door. Right. I mean, I, an, an elder or a pastor hadn't done this in forever. And here you are. Please come in. I want you to meet my family. And those people, back in church. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's an evangelistic approach. Right. Don't give up, church clergy. We have a lot of dead wood and right. stuff. That is a kernel for an evangelistic well, approach. Well, in sales, if you go secular, it's like your best customer is your old customer, right? Because they've already been sold once, so to speak. So it's, it's rich. What it means is it's target rich for bringing people back into your church. And not that's just using it as a... A head count, but it's more important that the relationships are restored. So this is a problem I think that is um, it's it's a it's something that was neglected for a while for whatever reason, and now you're trying to catch up and and make things more current. 
So it's, you get a new pastor or a new clerk or, you know, that's what you don't have in the equation is the person with the historical knowledge of the church. So that person needs to be involved as well um, to know the connections. I, I, in my church, we had a, a woman who was a, the head of the greeters and she knew everything about everybody. And she would be a key person to have in the, the restoration of membership. So Every church has, in, in, in my church, we have Grandma Lori. Every church has a Grandma Lori <coughs> who knows all the people and knows all the history. That person needs to be your friend. Yeah. So, um, so you can call the conference. If you're searching for somebody, you know, we, we don't, we don't want to uh, have missing members floating out there either. So um, we'll try to help. Um, I, I have done this a short time, maybe six months, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I pull in my nonprofit work because I need to find some people once in a while. And I, in that work, I've used this program called fastpeoplesearch.com. What is it called? Fast fastpeoplesearch.com. It's not, it doesn't give you spam. It, it um, you know, it's not bloated. It's just an online search to find people. And I find it handy quite a bit. So, um, here we go. If I say Jacqueline Russell, <laughs> I'll put her on the spot. And I, and I say, oh, let's say she's in Oregon. Now, this isn't the, I mean, you'll have to still do a little detective work. But, ooh, look at that. This is all public record information. So, hmm, she's some certain age, but she lives in... <laughs> Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Vancouver. Uh, hmm. Oh, and she's got... Um, she's got relatives that somehow this website knows about. Mm -hmm. But is that her? Or here's another one. Even younger. Can I be that one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, Okay, if we say, oh, this is the real Jacqueline, and um, it shows phone numbers here, it shows an email address, previous addresses, and one that's rather handy um, is people that are connected to her. So this looks like it might be real, because I see Jonathan Russell here, mm -hmm. right? And if I know the kids' names, they're also possibly in the list, but it's not so much about kids on this website. It's more about, this is information from renting and mortgages and utility bills and stuff like that. Okay, so this is pretty handy. And, and one thing you can do to, to verify, what's, what's the main metric we use in eAdventist to verify who someone is? birth date. So if I see the, the, the age of this person and I compare it to maybe someone in my um, member list who has, is the same age, you know, it's, a, it's, a really, it's enough information for me to say, oh, this new phone number might be a way to contact this person or an email. So so what you're saying is using fast people search, this is like all those other ones where you get in there and then they say you have to pay. No right. Pay. See, no pay. I was just trying to get on right. with my phone and it was all the, all the little topics are how to opt out of it. And so I'm trying to see, maybe it's because I'm on my phone. Do you just, when you Google it, you can click on the actual website? It might have, yeah, it's fastpeoplesearch.com. Um, and it, it might require you to, to prove you're not a robot, and that's it. So you probably have done that before. Okay, so that's, that's helpful in trying to, to find someone that your, your church doesn't know where they are, the conference doesn't know where they are, 
here's we're limited too. We we only know we can only search out people within the, our conference. So if they're in Washington conference, so then you might want to call or um, contact the the union clerk, and that scope gets bigger, right? So. Yeah, that's a good question. Now we have the advantage. We have the advantage here that the people who wrote all this software are in Vancouver and work for the NAD. And that's Brian Ford. So let's see. If we go, um, I just went to the NTC website. I should know this. Maybe it is Brian Ford, but um, let's see. Um, let's see. We go uh, membership. And like any good. Adventist website gives you lots of stuff you don't need. <laughs> or it's like three years old. Um, secretary. Anyway, tell you what, I will... Isn't there a help, an e-Adventist help? Yeah, but that's not the, the clerk. That doesn't go to that. Membership clerk. for the okay. union. I'll... Tell you what, I'll send an email of that person so we won't waste our time finding it here. That's fine. Um, so, yes, help at the Adventist is, we'll eventually get to Brian Ford or his um, assistant. And you can ask um, help for finding members beyond your scope. Okay. So why don't we get back into e-Adventist, and uh, we, we see that reclaiming former members is work, but a glorious work for your church. Hi there. Hi. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Who, who are you? I got waylaid. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what is your name? Wanda Peterson. Okay, good. Um, oh, I have your paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, Dr. Ted, somebody mentioned something about being able to separate within the lists the members and non-members. Could we walk through that process? All right. Are the breast teeth reserved because I can't hear you? They are yeah, reserved for you. Yes, yes please. <laughs> Come on down. We have screen here, too, if you yep. want to see. Next, next month, I'm 93, so... Well, happy early birthday. This, this, is the, this is the first time they've had you do this. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Thank you. So you've you used this page of so often, right? Search, mm -hmm. right? people search. Well, here's the status here. Mm -hmm. And you can choose member, non-member. Yeah. Yeah, come on over. My bifocals don't, don't like to look that direction. I couldn't see anything. There you go. Is that better? That helps. And you can still see over here? Where did you start that? Oh, under status. Just, just It's just a person People. search. People search. People, but then status. Right. <clears throat> so that's one way to filter through finding someone. Duplicate member, missing member. Um, so it has a, a spot for removed, so it keeps track of everybody that got removed as well. Right? Yes. And so, it said deceased too. Yes. Yeah. So you could double check. Right. Correct. Mm The one disadvantage I have is that I only see the conference page. Um, so I don't know, I mean, there's features probably here that are more than what you have. So um, 
Um, do, you, do you have the reports and tools? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where I get my birthdays. Right. So here's the member list report, right? And again, um, looks like you can sort by name, age groups by decade, postal code. Where's the family one? I was looking for it the other day because the person that I mentioned to you, her whole family is members of the church, are members of the church, and she thought she was too, and then she's nowhere in there. And so I was trying to find the family page to see if I could connect that way. It's right here. Okay. I mean, I'll, a lot of this you'll just have to uh, give it a try yeah. and and see what kind of report. But it's you under want. reports. Yeah. yeah. I just there's so many places to go. I'm right. So is I'm just well. Let's just start with a baseline. Um, welcome. What's your name? Sure was Yay, you're here. Yes. <laughs> We've spoken many I times. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so um, let's start with the baseline. Like, how is every has everyone used e Adventist at some point? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is all familiar for most, but not for you. Have you tried it out? I've never seen it. Do you have an account? We probably do in our church. I'm the, called the assistant clerk. Yes. And the clerk, it's an unusual situation. She hasn't attended church herself for about five years. And so I was asked to take the board meeting minutes for her. Mm -hmm. And um, she still is doing all of this work. And I, if you have a baptist or something, I let her know. But... They're thinking of moving sometime, and I just thought if you were having this training, I would just come and have a little overview. Are you um, voted and appointed by your church to be the assistant the clerk? Assistant clerk. Okay, yeah. and you have have you gotten an e analyst account? I don't know. Probably not, right? I, I don't personally have one. No. So here's what we do. No, I'm not asking for one. I just I just came just to have. If that's okay. I'm asking for why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll do that too. We can set that up. Really yeah. Easy. Um, I don't. I don't want to try to change anything. I just. I just thought it'd be good to, for someone else in the church to have some idea of what. Yeah. Absolutely. That's important. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be the clerk? I'm not sure that I do, but it would be helpful if I could tell yeah. the next person what's involved in the job. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. If I had to do it for a long, long time, but I have a lot of other things I'm doing. For the rest of you who have used Yavinus on a scale of one to ten, how easy would you say it is? Eight, nine. eight to nine. Eight to yeah. nine. That's it. Yeah. It so, tells you when you, when you use it. Right. So that's fairly encouraging for software, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 issues where it's a challenge are, are the little quirky places in there that uh, you kind of you know, might have a special case situation and then you don't really know exactly how to um, navigate that situation. That's right. <laughs> and now, is this meeting to help people in the church do it for the people in the church? Yes, for <laughs> clerks. Are oh, primarily. Yes, I'm gonna pit. I, I belong to, to the village church, and I go to Wood Silverton and Woodburn. Uh huh. But I do my own mailing. They're not connected with me at all. And when what do you mail? We when I went to Weimar, there was a whole bunch of Catholics there that wanted my material. So I just started. And I'm sending them probably 50, 60 out every month and a half around the United States. Most of them are Catholic, and then I go to all the stores. To Benavita Tires, the hardware store, and all that, and they're all looking for me. So that's why I thought maybe you could give me some ideas, you know, because I buy mold literature and deliver it. I <laughs> <Mail> see. It. <laughs> but 
But I have been, I have been a clerk and so forth in the church. So. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so for people newer to E Adventist, you heard that it's not so hard. So um, we'll get anyone who's new set up and uh, get you started. Um, most things that you do can be undone, so don't feel too scared about about. You can about, try things. Mm -hmm. I wish that was true of life. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so, <laughs> uh, what, a, so we have a person coming into your church. They want to transfer from an existing Adventist church. Uh, you, everyone knows what to do next. Right. So mm -hmm. the person wanting their membership change is the initiator and then that is transferred to you to do the request and that doesn't take any vote or anything um well it's probably better to have the pastor be involved and and know this person or some people in the church know this person and um we don't want it to be a, a surprise situation where you know they're they're a pariah somewhere else <laughs> and you're trying to pull them in and so it's better to know who yeah so it's better to know this get to know this person and they'll want to get to know you um, too one of our members transferred to our sister church and so he requested it at that Thank church and it showed up on my mm -hmm. messages that he requested the membership transfer right something so like here so then on this kind of page, transfer. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a little message up on the dash on the home page. Right. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, um, of course, before I could do anything, we had to have a board meeting, and then we had to vote him mm -hmm. to leave before I could go in there and officially do mm -hmm. that. But if they're requesting to come to our church, that I don't know how to do because. So the person in your church would ask the church. I mean, they'll fill out a paper, I assume. But as my memory has it, don't don't we have to vote that at the church before I do anything here? Yeah, that's what we do. We do. We have to be. Yeah. Yeah. You should vote first. Yeah. So once that's Just all happening, request. then where do I go to add them? Do you have to vote to just request? No, I don't think that's no. the You don't step. have to vote to request. Okay. That's what I thought. To but request a transfer or to or incoming or outgoing? A person comes to your church from right. the Dallas, right? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm remembering old stuff. So, yeah. They, they come to your church. They say, I have my membership in the Dallas. I want to become a member of your church. Like right. Okay. So the clerk through the pastor, you know, fill out a card. Um, and hopefully this person is known enough. And you would send a request right here in transfers. Uh, request transfer right there. Okay. And then you would find... You know, the, yep, the Dalles. And there they are. So now we have the church. Oh, push the wrong button. And they want to join Fall City, right? Yes. No, they want to join Woodburn because this is he had been his demo. Okay. Right. And then you put public. And you know, John, whoever it is. And, and if you have the birthday, use it. That mm -hmm. helps too. Okay. Yes. So one, one, twelve, nineteen. 
Okay, so now the request is here, and this request goes to the clerk um, the at the Dallas. At the Dallas. Now the Dallas Church has has the process of mm -hmm. of voting to let them be transferred. The it's more of a courtesy to the Dallas Church than anything. A church cannot prevent a member in good standing from transferring. So you can vote against it, and it can be noted in your record, but it's still going to be transferred. It can still transfer. So, can I give you a word of caution? We had someone come to our church and didn't know it. They had already closed another church, and they were closing our church and brought other people in. To make the voting right, and well, we finally uh, the conference said we're going to slow, close the church, and then we won't take them back in again, and then you can start out like fresh again. Well, it turned out it was out long enough, so they gave it to the Spanish people. So it was the oldest continuous church in the Oregon Conference, and it's only two blocks from my house, and I lost it all. Mm. Well, that's not a desired situation, is it? No. So I'm, <laughs> so, I'm just saying, be careful. <laughs> In the situation, say the Dallas Church, we're just, is it their job to say this person is in good standing or, or we have some questions about this person, concerns about this person? Is that? It's presumed good standing. Okay. It would be your church's responsibility to say, oh, I need to add a comment here. Um, anyway, hit a comment. Um, this person, blah, 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 with, you know, some pastor or official type of um, commentary would say, this person is dangerous for whatever reason. Or, um, so that and, would be the point where that would And be then there. the clerk is not just going to automatically at... Um, at uh, Woodburn, you know, vote them in because there's a comment there, and it would be the job of the the leadership of each church to figure out the, the real standing of that person. Okay, so we talked about some special cases here, but in general, when everything is working well, um, we have uh, the request made. The church that the request goes to, they do a vote. They say, best of luck to you at Woodburn. Dow's is better, but you, if you want to do Woodburn, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so my experience has been that when somebody wants to transfer out of your church to another church, the, the church that's assuming them, is the one that puts in the request. I get the request right. from them that, mm -hmm. that this right. person wants to transfer. Correct. That is right. So then what we do at our church is that goes before the board. Okay, that's right. to vote them in. No, that's no. to vote them out as oh. well. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, we want to yeah, make sure board. that we're not right. voting somebody to somebody else, approving their move if they're not in good standing. It's mm -hmm. Right, that's, out a, that's for outgoing. Ways. But yeah. we're talking about coming into your church. We do that both ways. Yeah. We do it both ways. Our so board too. votes on yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you've got yeah. a diligent board and you have yeah. no missing members. No, we do. <laughs> I have a whole list of missing members that I had the board approved so I could move them to that status because I went through our entire mm -hmm. membership roster, mm -hmm. printed it off, and had all of our elders look at it and say, do you know this person? Have you ever heard of this person? Do you know if they know anybody else? Mm -hmm. So we could identify the people that nobody had ever heard of. That was currently at the church, and then I called all the numbers, and the ones I couldn't get through on phone, I mailed them a postcard. Mm -hmm. So to try and find, you know, if they had forwarded an address or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Well, good, good job. It didn't yeah. really give us much, but at yeah. least we were able to you knew where, where they clear were. conscience <laughs> right. that we could yeah. move them to missing person status. So what happens to the membership when they go to missing? You can reinstate them. Yeah. Okay. But then, just, if you pull up a report then of your membership, 
does it still show you who's missing? It should. Huh? It should. But what if, okay, so. It's a, it's a. To get a list, if you've moved people to missing and you select it so you don't get the list of the non-members, is there a way to get just a list of current members? The current members. members. Yeah. Yeah. The active. The active yeah. ones. Yeah. Yes, there's a way. There's but always a way. <laughs> we'll get to that. We're gonna follow. We're gonna just at least get this person okay. transferred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> poor, poor John. Poor John. He's stuck here. Okay. So. He's missing. <laughs> no, he's right there. <laughs> so. Um, Ted, can I just summarize? Yes. Thank you. The church manual gives you a very clear step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. Very you absolutely correct. People sometimes ask me, do I ask the, the church clerk, clerk of the church I'm, I'm in at present to transfer? No. He's correct. It's the one I'm going to. So mm -hmm. I'm going from A to B. I go to the church clerk at B, ask them for transfer. They automatically put the transfer in there so it's just done. Mm -hmm. Church cl uh, clerk in uh, A gets it takes it to the church board, they vote on it. She then goes in onto e Adventist, puts in the church board's vote. Yes. That's picked up by B, church clerk B, and church clerk B says, oh, they voted it up. Well, now we can vote you in. Right. That goes to the new church board in B, church B. They vote you in. Except when we just did that as Church A, and we went to the board and we voted that, then it had to go through the church to their first and second reading. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the, both ends. The vote only yeah, both votes, ends. yeah, because the church yeah. board can't vote membership. That's right. Right. Uh, membership is always voted by the church as a whole body. Right. Right. And so that goes to the second church. Church board there again. Makes the recommendation, vote it to the church body, and the church body votes that member in for itself. Yeah. The problem okay. comes sometimes if a member is not in good standing, and there's a problem, the church that needs to take ownership for that not good standing is not the receiving church. Mm -hmm. It's the sending church. Yes. yes. They mm -hmm. know that person better, and they need to then work with that person if they can um, before they can send. Sometimes they may even disfellowship a person and can't send them in. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons that go in there. But yeah. when they send, they basically send a member in good standing order. But if they have a few little questions, this person may be dangerous around children, then they add the note that Ted said. Mm -hmm. So that the new church says, oh, we have to do that. Sometimes the pastor from the sending church will contact the pastor of the receiving That's church right. and yeah. indicate that so that we have safety in mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and be careful with the members that we receive that we don't always know. Right. But there's, this is the best method I know of. He added this method works mm -hmm. very, very well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it, you mentioned a church manual. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have one for our church so that I could figure out what I should have one. Yeah. Your pastor should have one. Yeah, it's all online. Mm -hmm. I was going to say ABC has some. Is it in e Adventist? Do they have? No. no. The manual is not in no, e Adventist. That would be a great idea. I think Cindy sent one out. I think the manual covers everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it right. don't know where to access it. So yeah. your receiving church yeah. votes in the, the, the member of good standing. You would uh, type in the date of that vote after the uh, first, second reading. You know, it's a second reading vote, basically. And then when you enter that in, then the transfer is complete and your church grew by one person. Right. So that's wonderful. And, and John has a home. Yeah, and John has a home. So here's... What Pastor Jerry was saying is that e-Adventist is probably the 
the most complete way to make that kind of transfer and to have the most information about the person, the standing um, in transfer. What's less preferred but still necessary sometimes is profession by faith, profession of faith. What that is best suited for a Christian who wants to be accepted into the Adventist church. That that has already been baptized as a Christian, just wants to refine their beliefs more aligned with Adventism. Where it's not so great is taking an existing Adventist and putting that Adventist into another church. Because what you're doing is leaving a trail of that person somewhere else in the history uh, in the Adventist. Not only that, you end up with double count of membership, right? Because the old church still has that person on record. And it's a way that there's no connection of history, right? So if this person was a danger to somebody, there's no connection to um, uh, going so into the new church. It seems like that would only happen if the person is a complete liar. Well, because some people are like that. And talking with the pastor, you know, and they ask, are you an Adventist? Do you have membership anywhere? It, it, I know, everything happens. <laughs> what happens, um, it, sometimes it's a fix. I, I, my membership in my current church had to be done by profession of faith because my old church either killed me or they <laughs> just fellowshiped me. Or they, they just lost my membership. It, was, it probably was before E Adventist is the truth of it. So there are cases where a profession of faith is required, especially if you're dealing with um, uh, a foreign national person coming into the country and they're from some village that has no, no computer database. And so um, the old practice and still probably the best is uh, through mail to the original church, the church A, try to make the transfer, do it the snail mail way, and then get a letter from that pastor or church clerk, and you can accept that person um, into your church, uh, hopefully by transfer, but sometimes it has to be done profession of faith. I had one from Zimbabwe about five years ago, mm -hmm. came over from New Uh huh. and uh, it took six months. Yeah. And we did it, we did email, we didn't do slow mail, they mm -hmm. did it by email back and forth, but it right. took six months for yeah. them to get them. It can take a really long yeah. time. But we got it. Oh, good. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> so, new clerk. Yes, sir. She has lots of detailed knowledge about doing foreign transfers, right? <laughs> you betcha. Yeah, so we're here to help. What She'll help you, I'll help her, we'll all help each other. Um, okay, so uh, here's a situation that happens a lot is that you have a um, a child in a family who grows up and mm -hmm. becomes established as their own individual apart from the original family. That does happen a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have um, a, a clear picture on how to manage that because I didn't immediately when I first learned e Adventist. <laughs> Let's see if we have somebody here. It's not going to be a problem for us. <laughs> we don't have any kids, so we don't <laughs> except my five-year-old. <laughs> so the bottom line is that this person will need to 
Here we go. Here we have um, Kimberly Jones. Let's say she's the daughter of Joanne Jones. She's 49 years old. She probably should have her own family situation by now, right? Um, no, just in general. Um, so you would want to uh, take that person and create a new family, right? So go. Oh, she's already here. Um, change family. Under change family, we can create a new family. And then we can enter in her, her own independent address and um, that will automatically remove her from dependency on the original um, family patriarch matriarch. But it won't be duplicated because she's removed. So. Right. Well, she, right. So that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's the same process if you deal with divorce. Right. I recently did one of those. A divorce uh, sometimes requires changing a new parents. address. Imagine that. Yep. Or just moving one person in the family. Well, it depends upon where the kids well, go. Well, I mean, yeah. I just transferred to a different church. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear your question. question. On yeah. Family, where you know it talks about being the primary member. Yes. Mm -hmm. People are underneath that. Isn't there someone you can change under the primary member if there's not your primary or not anymore? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. First, what did you say? Because I, I primary contact chain. They're in the middle. Right there in the middle. Down below. Yeah, down. Yeah. You mean down here? No. No, in the middle section. Or is the gray bar? Oh yeah, right, right there. Yeah. Is that where you can make the changes? Yeah. Also, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. What's a little bit deceiving a lot of times is that when you want to change information down here, you really are editing the person with the button up here. I don't so know why they have the two sections divided like that. To present us with the change. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, not if it's too easy. Yeah. I, there's that, yes. Okay, let's let's ask get to some more specific questions anyone mm -hmm. has. I have a question, but it isn't regarding this. It's about the organizational chart. I noticed I can go in and update all the positions except for the pastor. That is correct. Not mm -hmm. let you renew them, yeah. even Just though it needs to. Conference so clerk does that. Have to get you yep. guys to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I kept trying to yes. take out the old pastor, put in the new one. It wouldn't let me do nothing. Right. Kind of. Yep. I have a question about the minutes. Okay. The board meeting. Um, so they have a number when there's a vote. You know those numbers. <laughs> well, I was just wondering um, if those numbers were set in stone, or can we create our own set of numbers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, for every time we vote on the minutes at the board meeting. There's a, they're assigned a number. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the minutes are assigned a number? Or no. no. Each, each, each vote has a number? Maybe that's something your church is doing. Like 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 no. It's, it's just so annotated. The pastor goes, minutes. why can't we just do it this way? And then the old assistant clerk goes, you better ask at the conference because you want to change anything. <laughs> Shouldn't. So no, what, what do the minutes no. have to do with the admins? I mean, yeah. That's not on. Well, it's a clerk, clerk thing. Clerk thing. Oh, right. It is clerk a clerk thing. thing. Yeah. But I thought we just took the minutes of what happened and then typed it up and presented it at the next board meeting. Right. Yeah, yeah, then it gets approved by the board. The and next then time. you yeah. approve that in the next each minute. Each yeah. has a special number, and the current clerk is like, and this is the number you'll start with next. And well, that's like, interesting. Oh, I've been a clerk for five years. I ain't done any of that. that. Yeah. It seems like it's a legal thing. If I don't do it, I'll go to jail or something. No, I think so. no, pretty sure you'll you'll not go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she 
she was still awake for 20 years, so she might have gotten the credit. <laughs> it might have been their way of keeping track so of everything. So we don't have to keep it so they could go back to them. Yeah. For each vote? Uh, it's, that's up to your church. Yeah. Okay, this is good. <laughs> right. Um, it would be a protocol d determined by the church. So, yeah. Right. Thank yes. My question was a question I had before on the transfers. Yes. Once the tra can we go back to the transfer screen? Yeah. That would be easier. Then I could explain that. So we had many people transfer this year from one church from somewhere in the whole church. Several couples and things like that transferred. So once they are accepted, and we did the vote, and we I put that in there as they're voted in, they're accepted, and then it just sits out there. It has the red, the green, the green. Like, transferred. Come off of that, of that? Are they transferring? They're transferring, they're transferring into your into church. church. See, and all accepted? the people, all everything is accepted. The vote's done. Everything is accepted on both yeah. ends. But why is it still showing up in the queue? It shouldn't. Should have that too. And go That's back to the the, where they're transferred and they're accepted. So it's Not it's there. stuck here in Grant. No, it's, it's already, already been accepted. It's been accepted. It still off. shows up on the. Computer. On this, go to the next. Uh, go back to the yeah. Go to the next. Um, so, back to the beginning. Now so go over to where it says. Uh, is it in the completed? Yes. Try there, please. Yeah. Well, they're the, showing up there, and they just sit out there. Now, how long do they do they sit out there? To. Is it because they have to? They have to. Somebody has to actually manually update it after it's uh -huh. done. I mean, oh, we I'm, do I'm, it. I'm, I'm manually updating it after it's done. And once do it's done, they, it's done. Uh, they yeah. did it. We did it. The votes are done. Accepted, put the dates in, and they're still right. sitting there. Do they close it like we do quarterly? I've had that happen where I thought I had to do something more, and I thought I made a mistake. So that's what I thought too. And then I went back and it was gone. Um, would this be at the boundary of closing the quarter? I think that's where it gets cleared. Could be. Yeah. yeah. And right now, so the, the past quarter has not been cleared yet. Okay. I so. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something. I'm sure no. We have all the dates in, everything's done. We accept Once it's in completed, your role is finished. Done. Yep, and it's <laughs> and it's our problem. And it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, that makes sense. Okay. Any other problems you guys are having? I just have one more quick question. Yeah. Guys. We have a person that told us they transferred from one church. Her and her husband transferred from church together to our church. Then we realized after the fact, when we put the transfer in, she did not ever transfer her membership to that church. It was still at Oakhurst in California. So then what I had to do was I, I then deleted the transfer and I had to restart the transfer all over. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. No more questions. You're on it. <laughs> Any other hang ups? Um, your pastor asked you for some interesting information ever. How about attendance? How's that been going? Um, we have an online attendance because yeah. the the that actually goes pretty well. Okay. What if the church doesn't get back to you on a transfer? Do you start calling or yeah, you call them? Mm -hmm. call you. Well, you can you can call the church, and if you're still having a hard time, then you can call us, and we'll try and help. What I find is they usually respond if you send them a comment. You say, yeah, you know, you I'm just checking in, on yeah. the status of this transfer. Is right. there a problem or something? Yeah. Because yeah. some of the churches, because they're just coming out of COVID, the board hasn't met in years. And yeah. Yeah. We do a lot of e-votes. That being month. said, not all churches are using e-Adventist, right? Right. There's a very few, yes. Or that some churches are having the conference manage their online e-Adventist work. Right. So is there a way to know who is, like, 
which churches. So say they get a request for a transfer and they, um, you know, they put in the comment, they're not getting any response because it's a church that doesn't ever check EIPS. Right, then they'd call the conference clerk office here. But and we'll, go we'll help. And scroll down to find the church that you're trying to mm -hmm. communicate with. Uh, this goes back a ways. Cindy told me that there's a place on that screen that shows if they have e Adventist or not. Yes. Mm -hmm. And okay. that was what, because I had that problem. I was mm -hmm. getting no response, but she said, well, they don't have e Adventist. So then mm -hmm. she ta contacted the conference clerk in that, because it was out of state. And, uh, you know, it took a couple months, but we finally got it. Mm -hmm. But that's how. It, you know. This is where the detective skills come in handy. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Here you go, right here at the top. Beaverton, it, so Beaverton Spanish Adventist Company. And you see that little this thing right here the little paper it shows that they're they're doing it manually but really what it means is that the conference is managing their membership okay so yes that's the little symbol next to the church and what's the green dot mean green dot is that there's it's ready for the next Yes. transaction oh, okay. if we were to look at it um, Beaverton Spanish is it's, it's been requested um, it's now ready for a vote ready for a vote okay now with companies and churches that are managed by the conference um, <clears throat> especially for companies and groups, mm -hmm. the vote for the transfer takes place by the, the basically the church board of the conference, which is the executive committee. And that only happens like every two months. Oh. So there's a delay that takes place. It's, it's slower than doing a normal church to church transfer because the conference voting takes place every two months and based on the cycle there could be some missing information and then the, the meeting takes place it might have to wait to the next one so sometimes if you've had frustrations that is taking a long time from a particular church uh, like a group or a company that's the reason why has anyone ever uh, printed church um, directory from the Adventist? Apparently you can. We're, we're, yes. We have a very old directory with everything else that I was explaining. And so I thought about once I do get it the way I want it, just doing like a interim directory. And kind of, I just wondered if anybody had done that. Yeah. Isn't there a directory button? Yeah, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I yep. saw it, but yeah, it right here. To it for. Oh. So here we are at Woodburn again. And here's the directory down here. I mean, I've printed the membership off so that I could show people, you know, the elders to look at it. But I just wondered if there, if it, if there's something nicer that you can do from there. You know what I mean? That the format that doesn't look like a printout. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty rudimentary yes and the directory the directory is best served if you go back to oh well it's here where you have family photos yeah. <laughs> so, right otherwise you're just going to end up with a generic list yeah but at least the, what i was saying is the list could be checked by everybody to say we don't know these people or right. if that's the wrong number yeah. and then go ahead and actually make a directory. You know, mm -hmm. I just was, was curious if that was a, it's the only thing I can think to do, but to try to update it. 
Well, we're a very small church, and I just printed off our membership list um, with just the members. And we have a business meeting, which unfortunately not a lot of people showed up, but it was, you know, a few more than maybe the board. I gave it to everybody on the business meeting, and I said, look through the list, and if some of these, you know them, or how to contact them, you know, please let us know, because I've been there 14 years, and there's people I don't know on that list. We just wanted to find yeah. people. Yeah. It's a start. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, we're a small church. <laughs> so it was not as big of a list as yours. We're a large church with a small membership right now <laughs> compared to what it was. Yeah. All right. Any other good questions? These are all been helpful. Thank you. Um, okay. So other than keeping track of our members, and doing the transfers and such, and our daily or our weekly attendance report. Has, has everyone used attendance here online? No, because I think mm -mm. somebody else does it, I hope. I haven't been doing it. <laughs> well, other authorized users of eAdventist, like the pastor maybe. Hold or... on, it's not, no, it's not the pastor, it's the husband. So uh, I'm not sure who's doing it, but I think it's somebody who's been back that Okay, well, then what, what happens with the tally for the week? I haven't looked, so I'm okay. just curious. I mean, well, we don't need to talk about me all the time, but I just want to know whether I need to do something different, or if it, if it wasn't working, you'd probably let me know, I'm thinking. The person who tallies should probably let you know. Yeah. They probably did. Like, when well, I would meeting. say that you might not get told, because our previous clerk mm -hmm. did not report... Okay. And has been had been the clerk for about two years. Okay. So when I took over in June, I started doing the attendance, and he was like, didn't even know we were supposed to. Okay. Right. Well, what I, I know did who to ask. So as far as my particular thing, but I was just wondering. I guess there's a place for me to look if it's been entered. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah right. Sorry. What and I also think. the pastor's wife and, and the administrative assistant. So I haven't. I need to do more. Just tell me. Give me a trailer. Okay. Yeah. What I did was I created a list that has the month and the date, the different Sabbaths on it. And our greeters will take a head count halfway through the sermon and then annotate it there. And then when I get time, I can go there and get the numbers and put it into e yeah. yeah. So Yeah. And this is the, there's a the place to do it under organization is your church. And there's the attendance button right here. This is more of a conference view. I don't know what the, because you would It's the same. Okay. But it's probably like your church is locked in here, right? Um, so let's just, let's just work on the, the church attendance. A lot of times there's like the Sabbath school attendance. Yeah, no, we just do church. Uh, just yeah, let's be consistent on the ch at least the church. Um, I haven't been asked for for statistics of Sabbath school attendance, so I'm not sure that's used at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So here at Woodburn, you pick the date, you put in the head count. We also have online count for those who are streaming. Uh, that's important too yeah. because the two add up for your attendance right. and even that may be under reporting because a family of five watching online only counts as one so so uh, sad that's all we can do for now yeah. so boom you, you enter it and the reason why this is important is because because the data goes up the chain. It goes to the con this conference, it goes to the union, and then it goes to the division, and then it goes to the GC. And it's all to try and do the most with the resources available. So, so if, if you have 200 people at your church, but you're not reporting attendance, then they don't know... Like, re you can't get resources if you need them because it looks like you don't have any 
attendance. Mm -hmm. Right. Does that it's make sense? That. I have one question. Yeah. On, on online, when I, I check that every week, and say it's 89 people online, and then if I go back into the following week, then it's up to 110. Should I be changing it or should I leave it? Because I started changing it and I thought, you know, I don't know. So are you archiving it somehow, like the sermon or something? Is... Yeah, I mean, you keep track on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube yeah. every week. And then sometimes people go in during the week and look at it, and I'm like, ooh, should I be changing that? Or should I be I would say it? no. Okay, just leave it the one time. Because on Monday morning, so there's no extra credit for this. <laughs> what? <laughs> people going back in and duplicating, well, it, that's my yeah. concern. But, I mean, you're never going to know that. We have a lot of people that do not watch because glad. they're currently out camping or something right. like that. So they'll do it. So every week what I do is I check the following week. And if it's higher, I go ahead and change it because I know our people. Mm. They're out doing whatever and they watch it later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just don't just take an attendance. Take it once and don't fix it. It's only for Sabbath. I, that's my feel for it, mainly because you don't know if someone who did watch on sabbath just wanted to see it again okay i um, check it on monday and morning i don't know it's you know, that's all right it's just, it's i think bad. online it's is a, a poor substitute for in-person fellowship yeah. Yeah. and then it's yep it's better than nothing but still a point of connection we almost have it's almost even in our church i mean it's almost i could say on average 100 to 120 in attendance and we could be up to 100 on I I like the idea that you're even online you're all together at once. Okay, so one and done is That's just my opinion. I mean it's I mean your church can do what it wants to do on that. And it may Our not pastors really pastors from Australia, a lot of those people watch a couple days later. Well, and see, yeah. that makes sense. Right. So if you know your congregation and you yeah. know that that's a thing, yeah. right. then, it, then it makes sense. members that now live in Idaho, but they still watch every week. So it yes. makes so sense for you to, it, to update then. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, any other questions to talk about? Well, I was going to ask if there was more functions to e Adventist other than what we've talked about. How about reports? Is that interesting? I mean, that we're supposed to be doing. Oh, doing. You know. Well, a lot of these things are optional. Okay. Like the directory. Um, one thing that is also um, should be done is your update in officers in the church. So if you if you have a new head deaconess, um, you know, change that officer name. Go to their name and do it from there. No, or is there no, it, no there's a list of officers. If you go to, I don't know, picking on Woodburn today. <laughs> Okay, so here you see a, a, a list. What Say you have a new first elder. Um, it, it'd be best to go to that, like here in this list. Click this, first el new first elder. So then you would select a new person. Um, I'm just going to put... I don't know who's in this church. So here's the search. Um, Mr. Smart here. Okay, so I, I selected the person in the radio button here. And then now you're ready to select. I hope none of you are stuck at the search part because it's only to find names. Okay, so now Don Smart. Okay, but I didn't, I didn't notice how you got to that list of all the offices. Me too. I'm going to come back up. Okay, going back. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we are. 
we go to editing the officer. I need a new officer for my first elder. I select the person. I think you want Before to that even. I need you back two oh. more steps. You start by okay. finding your Before organization. The, how did you get there? What did you click? Organization. 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 Mostly it should be your church, right? Okay. So I put in Woodburn because this has many different churches in okay. it. Okay. You have to find your church. Yep. Then you find the list. So I click the church. Okay. Let's see if you're in there. Yeah, ours is going to be strange. Let's find yes. out. Hey, you're not. No. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. You know I have an account. Okay. <laughs> well, this is this is the church deciding whether it wants to be managed or not. That? Before you came. So you guys are managing it, and so am I. This, first of all, this is demo, so it's like really, it's old. really old yeah. information. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, look at the names. Yeah. Are they right or wrong? Pastor's right. Right. Oh, my junior's been gone, passed away about five years ago. See, it's all. This is. Harry passed away in March, April. Yeah, so it's old. It's so. It, yeah. In this example, I can't really edit it. Right. So, there so, should be a little trash can on the side that you could click on. Yeah. Mom has pictures. Mm -hmm. She doesn't hold an office. Okay, we're mm -hmm. we're going to go back to this. Okay. One. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, yes, you can that. just get rid of that office, mm -hmm. right? Like we don't need to list a second elder anymore. So it's gone. And if we refresh the page. Okay, but then you have other elders. So that but then. If yeah. you wanted a second elder, you now have to enter the whole second elder thing. So what's the difference? I know what a first elder is. That's the head elder. In big church. Is second elder. Hello, the elders don't have them. No, you're, you're like, lucky to have We elders. have two elders now. We have We're maybe excited. their first elder in training. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you can put that new title. You can create yeah. that little position. Right. Yep. So a second elder like yep. head elder assistant? Yep. Elder <laughs> junior. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to work on the first elder again. Okay. We need a new one. We pick somebody here. Do we have to renew the pastor every, every, do we have to renew that if he's a sin? You know, it says renew. Do we have to do that or we just do it? We, we can't do that. that too, right? Yeah. Not the tool, yeah. But yeah. Do we have to notify you and renew it every two years? Or do yeah. we just leave it? What it would be good for us to renew it. Okay. <laughs> And Whether if we, we do it automatically. Well, and if we haven't, mm -hmm. you know, feel free to let us know, hey, it's time. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But here again, you know, it's, I, I think a lot of this comes back to just kind of communication because eAdventist is like this hub of information where you have access, we have access, other churches that are involved in transfers have access. Right. So at every point, communication is really, really important. So is there a user manual or guidance put out? Good question. How we function with other churches? And That's a great question. That's a great question. Did you guys, do you guys have that list of uh, uh, short video, tr trading videos that Cindy sent out? I still have it all in my phone here. On your email? She, yeah, she sent yeah, out a, an email with Can all these different little send clips them a link that you could watch that after. are just little training videos. I got a whole bunch so of ones for Treasurer. Well, they're titled, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know if, if you're looking yeah. for how to add a new family, you just click on that little short video, and it shows you step by step. Right. We'll send you the link Yeah, it's really to good. the videos. Yeah, that'd be great. Because what's on Yavinus is a bit limited. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking to see if I still had the manual on my phone, and I don't. I didn't find the manual actually very helpful. Yeah. So. <laughs> so now we got logged out. And the most updated manual. It's very easy to find it on. It's right here. If you Google, it's all there. Download the complete church manual. 
Yeah, I didn't find there it there. There you go. Yeah, so but I, I mean, bother. for whoever wanted it. He said there were steps in there. Pastor Jerry said about this. Well, that's that's for the church manual, not for the e-Adventist manual. Oh, right. is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So for E Adventist, you have this very tight group of help of resources. Um, there's a couple of tutorials that you can download. I think there's um, in the help center you have like a keyword thing. It's not. I have to say it's not terribly comprehensive, but it might get you in the right direction with some articles. Hey. How do I deal with a missing member? So there are online resources available. So what do you go under to get that? That was under Help Center, right here. So, is that under the home page? Button? Yep, mm -hmm. home page. Okay. Why do they have this, the death index on there from Social Security? Like, what do we do with that? Yeah, so if you, so that you can put it in when you yeah. somebody has to like if you don't oh, know, here it is right yeah, here. the exact date. We had four members oh. die in four days. That's why I'm so focused on this oh. because right wow. in four consecutive days. Wow. Um, right. And so I knew when they died because it happened all at once. But if right. you didn't know, then right. Know. This is where yeah. you would find out. Okay, so I have on my task list with Jacqueline the links to MPUC clerk, links to Cindy's videos, and the church manual. Yeah, it's right there. Somebody else thought it was right there. Is that right there? It was green, I think. How Down, about that? Download the complete yeah. church manual. I think there's everything on there, but you have to take a lot of time to find what's on there. That's what I think. Yeah. What's the labels thing? You can print labels? Like you can. Labels? Yeah. Yep. That is correct. <laughs> it's under reports and tools. Okay. Or it, sometimes it's sprinkled in there. Here's yeah, labels. Yeah, it was also in. People. You can, you know, e Adventist has ability for you to build your own data of your church community members, you know, tag different functions of the. Um, like a group email. And right. And then you, here you put in ad anniversaries and. and your students and your volunteers. So it's these are things that are optional that your church may want to have documented or have a convenient database for them. So if it hasn't been cleaned up for a long time, going back to the email addresses of what we just did, if we have a lot of members on the boards and we're missing members, classified as missing members, the best way to do that is to print out a member list and maybe bring it to your elder and then have them go over there. Yes. Okay. And then, then you start from there. Yes. And start contacting people. Right. No addresses or anything. They're just the names sitting out there. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, that's, we have a few of those, not yeah. many. That's where that fast people yeah, search that's comes in really handy, That's only like the first step tool, you know. Yeah, there's yeah. there's you 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 could put a name in. Oh my goodness! If you have like John Smith, yeah. how are you ever yeah, going to find that spelled. person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. It's very accurate. When you talked about it, I searched my name, 
It has all my phone numbers and addresses for the last 20, 30 years. Interesting. I was surprised. Yep. So mm -hmm. if you're ever filling out paperwork for yourself, and you, don't and you know can't where, remember yeah. all that. <laughs> that's what I actually you just Google yourself. Right. That's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually have my daughter's in-laws in there, like her brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. No one's anonymous anymore. I didn't have some in my family, but I had her, her extended family. Big brother knows everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, any final questions before we close? And just remember, you can always call Jacqueline or email her. Um, she's really when I go helpful. To the fast people search. This is what it gives me: criminal background, employee background, or opt out personal information online. I did the same thing, but if you search fat, what is it, fastpeoplesearch.com? If you, That's what yeah. I put. Dot you put com. Dot com? Oh, it finally yeah. came up. For like me. any internet yeah. resource, yeah. there's lots of imitators that yeah, try to steer you the wrong way. The and then there's a warning symbol here. <laughs> Do it on your Start computer. Over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm. This has been a lot of fun, don't you think? Yeah. Oh yes. So, oh. is your phone number still the conference number that Cindy had? Same one. Okay. Because I have a program you'll just change. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Help. Is it really? Your phone number is different than mine. Or did you have Cindy's phone? Um, let's see. I think I have Cindy's number. So oh, I've been talking to you, but I'm supposed to be emailing her. It's okay. No, but I hope I can remember. Yeah. Yeah. I have COVID brain. I'm not sick, but I will. So that's a good excuse. <laughs> well, thank you all for participating. The best part is we get to uh, share our experiences and um, get to uh, get to know each other and. Hope you have a great rest of the the uh, camp meeting. Thank you. Yeah. And if you ever need special music in your church, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you guys. All children. Now, give us a preview of what you can do. <laughs> uh, Sabbath. Sabbath, you'll uh, hear. You. You'll hear us on Sabbath. Thank you very much. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thank and we are we are more helpful on later on too if you need more. Thank you. Yep. Call us, email us. We'll do our best to help you out. Thank you. I'm curious why you use Woodburn. Did you just go there? Just, just random. Because I go there. Oh, do you? Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> but I'm not a member there. Oh. I didn't have one when we had our training session. Oh. That is, um, my husband wrote this music. And oh. We, we recorded it. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Cool. Yeah. So. Look at that. It's on the I Amazon have... Top 20. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, we actually you. have a Facebook page for the newer music, because when COVID hit, we started recording the new songs mm -hmm. as he wrote them. And they're not fine tuned. They're just recorded on my phone and put on Facebook <laughs> with the five year old running around. <laughs> he was three, two. <laughs> he was one, one of the times, particularly, we kept trying to record and sing, and he was overeating and he started making noise. Then he got up, he comes over and he gets his little toy vacuum cleaner and he starts wiping <laughs> We have to like, that's all I could do. I, I cracked a blob, I, I couldn't hold it together. That's funny. And so anyway, he's, we finally got one that was good enough of him just at the end. <laughs> but anyway, Doug Woodruff Music is a public Facebook page. Okay. With some of the stuff nice. on there. So. Yeah, it'll be fun to explore. Well, I figured since you knew his cousin's relatives right. somehow right. went to school with one of the family. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, and John I Holland. It's good to meet you guys. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh, thanks. You do a great job. Hey, it's a paid position for me. So. Is it really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh. I get, I'm the admin assistant, church clerk, church oh. everything. That's Back right. Up. I know. I, I see your so, name under different titles. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of, yeah, anyway.
It's all good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. I had to cut back my hours, though, because we're now caregiving for my mother. Oh. So that's a 24-7 job. Sure is. I can say that takes a tremendous yeah. amount of time. We took her out to the park the other day, and I had a mosquito bite me right here. And look, at this is three days ago. Oh, my goodness. That happens to me, too. Are you allergic? I time? had never had a mosquito bite that went ballistic mm -hmm. like that. Thank you. But this that's was your today, too. Yeah, I, you know, nice. I you guys that's like three weeks old. Well, we just, we like the pastoral perspective, too. I used to connect them with this. We have this swarm of flies. Are you doing check? In our carport area. Is there a gate? What is creating this? There's no more sections after this. Is there a dog food? We asked our neighbors Were you in a different the class? They're like, no. no. Yeah. We have them over here, too. It's this year. We had a very rainy season. Then it got really hot, and everything happened. So they're outrageous. We've got all these bugs, zappers, and like that. Not like too busy. We'd stop and visit for a minute. Well, thank you. Well, I didn't want to keep it. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah. Well, thank you so it's much. It's nice to meet you. So what's, what's new in Idaho? Well, you know, we have a blender for... I need to introduce myself. Sure. I'm from Calling Church. When she retired from Congress, we left town. I don't know. Hands in the job. And 777 Yeah, yeah. We sold the house, right? And she finished the new shirt retired. She's been living with him now for two years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, wow. 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 We're pulling back. But then some people say, well, let somebody else do it. It's not you know, complete. Part of the um, so, retention. Well, yeah, I know that. So that makes some sense. Yeah. 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 Well, that's where yeah. 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 she'd been at the office for 35 yeah. yeah. years. Yeah. Um, what did she do? She didn't get away right away. How are you doing? I am well. It's so good to see you. Historically, old. Historically, not to say you're old, but just like we're but we are together um, like so many exactly. years ago. My yeah. mom, Patrick's Terry, she's still, yeah. she's still around. Yeah. She's At least all, I think they have. All, 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 mm -hmm. So yeah. I hope yeah. Captain My brother's here on campus, Gregory. Oh, so I nice to see you. So I know I just, yeah. uh, and it's good for us to be together. So I don't mind if you've changed so much. Well, you know, you grew up, so what? I know, I was probably like a pathfinder. Yeah, I'm not sure about the email. When do you hear? But 65. Okay, so you're a little bit younger. And our son was 59. So yeah, you were a little younger. You can have it open. Do you remember our kids? Yes, I do. And how to find membership, because I've been looking at membership for many years ago. Since we were 60 or 70. We don't have that, but I know. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a tough one. Yes. When I first started with the church, there were sort of anything through four or oh. six people. That's it. Unfortunately, he doesn't and go to church. Oh, no, we got about 25. Oh, that's it. Great. But, right. Um, yeah. It's, it's still working. Anyway. That's right. <laughs> so, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sitting back just as yeah. I have rolled, I couldn't see the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear it's all going to work. Yeah, oh, it feels really good. Whenever you need to. Well, you know, I looked at the list of stuff okay. that you can do. Okay. That's great. Involved. And yours is... That's so what do you enjoy? <laughs> 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 Too many things. That's the problem. Call me so Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Got a big education. I think I know what it is. Yeah. yeah. I want to look it up to make sure it's yeah. good. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Music um, seems to be the... It's because I have the freedom to do the work I work on. Yeah. So, yeah. Otherwise, you're just a starving artist, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly. You have to have some support. <laughs> right. <here. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Ken, I don't know if Chuck told you this already, but Ken worked for Adventist Health for years. Well, pretty much 
she's off the way. Yeah, except for what a year in Walla Walla when he graduated, but he worked for her then. And where was it he located? He, he was he went to Roseville. Yeah. And, and then, then they finally moved him up here. Mm -hmm. so he here now? He's yeah. Well he's retired. They, oh. Yeah, and they uh, he retired in January. Mm -hmm. But uh they don't have one for the company that, that rose that uh, so here's what you do. Edmunds Health was working All for with computers. Yes. And for so Arnold. Cerna. Yeah. Cerna. They Cerna even turned their system. whole crew over to <laughs> Cerna. So <laughs> yeah. um, now it's ended up moving toward yeah. Epic. Is oh, that is right? That right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and just yeah. Just big competitor. <laughs> Cerna is going away. Epic is coming in. Yeah. Only because my daughter is going to be doing some music tonight. Oh, so I need to go check on her. But I'll be around. So how old is she? Uh, she's 15. Yeah. She's a, mom, a talented young lady. Yeah. Just one. I still do. Strangely enough, my, mom, my, um, my wife said, once we get on the phone, then I can give you my direction. Maybe having no children. Having children, yeah, but never just one I hope I don't bother you too much. Yeah, but that's all the you know. Basically, basically. Yeah, well, that's, you know, after we lost one, we thought, well, it's nice to have three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three now. Yeah. Oh, we had to I was one of the rest. Four, maybe then we'll fall into line. That doesn't seem like you could afford to be you know, educate that many times. So, I will when our kids are married, then they'll be four. And then the neighbors kill. And so, before. <laughs> but we're blessed to be our grandchildren. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, because you were, you know, like one of the church leaders and people in the um, Boise area. Yeah. 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 Long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Are we supposed to do anything with this? I don't think so. Would Jeremy do that? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's good to talk with you. Yeah. 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 So you are living in Portland. In Portland, right? Yeah. 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 We're, we're at Goldendale. Okay. Which is yeah. well, down the road. About hundred miles away. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we come. We enjoy camping. Mm -hmm. We, you know, both of us grew up here. Mm -hmm. So this nice. is home, and Goldendale is just barely out of you know where we, we, grew, up, we grew up in Goldendale? Yeah. Wayne's little town. Wayne, yes. Is that right? Yeah. That's his hometown. Huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody else here hasn't seen him here in years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't either. <laughs> okay. Well, you have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, Have a good night, we'll stay right. under the tent, maybe. Okay. <laughs>